Bar over here bringing you another tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, perform a session hijacking attack, also known as sidejacking. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's basically just a more advanced method of man in the middle. So for this type of attack, you're going to need three tools: ferret, hamster, and cane. And if you haven't seen my other tutorial on ARP poisoning, uh, check that out before uh, you do anything with this because art poisoning is involved. So first off, you gotta run cane. Okay, so now you wanna run cane and go to the sniffer section. And uh, you gotta start the sniffing. Then add the su add your subnet, just all hosts on my subnet, and it will scan all of them. And then you gotta arp poison them. So go to the arp Like this is where I'm saying, if you haven't seen my uh, arp poisoning uh, video, then you won't get it. Well, select the yeah, select the router. And then just select all the computers on your subnet or the single computer you want to sidejack and poison them. So that's what well, that's going on. That's doing its thing. You want to run ferret negative i. And for me, my um, driver is listed as three with this program you will see the different drivers that um, that that your computer uses and you want to make sure to select the right one otherwise you won't get any data because you can see over here a hamster dot txt has been created and it's right now it's capturing cookies and whatnot and you want to open up another command prompt and this time type hamster alright so that's doing its thing now you want to open up internet explorer and go to tools internet options go to the connections part and click LAN settings and you want to make sure that you're using the proxy server 127.0.0.1 or 0 not 0 and then port 3128. That has to be it for this attack. So select that and then, then you want to type in HTTP those things slash slash hamster. Okay, and so after you go there, you sh you'll see the computers on your subnet that it's hijacking. Uh, you'll see their IPs pick up, get picked up, and then the list of cookies and all that. And I'm going to show you that, like, this actually works. So I'm just going to disconnect from the LAN proxy real quick just to show you. So I'm doing this, uh, this, high, this side jack on myself, basically. So I'm logged into YouTube right here and on Firefox. And in Internet Explorer, I'm not, so, or shouldn't be. Yeah, see, not logged in. Okay, so, now I'm going to switch back to the LAN proxy. Refresh it. And so this is my thing, my uh, IP on this subnet. And uh, just... Sometimes you have to click a few before you actually find the right one, but that didn't load right. Okay, there. You can see I am logged in as my YouTube account that I had up on Firefox, and you saw before that. I obviously wasn't logged in Internet Explorer. So that's pretty much it, and you can kind of just go around fucking with the person's stuff. I don't know, I mean, if you get some more sensitive, uh, you can, if you go to a public place and 
you can just get shitloads of uh, stuff to hijack, but. Well, that's just another basic tutorial. Um, one thing, after you're done with this, you're gonna wanna make sure to take, turn off the proxy.